Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Drinking in Dungeons Place Persona 4. As always, I am your fantabulous host, Shin Karon. And if I'm calculating this right, this episode should air on my birthday, so happy 25th to me! Anyways, let's go ahead and start that timer, get into it, and uh, I should probably actually heal up first. Um, Yosuke, go ahead. And then we'll go ahead and plop a couple of little drops on him. Okay. Now, uh, normally we would be probably a little underpowered for going up against this boss. I mean, we're still using mostly the base equipment. I found a Kevlar vest that I popped on the protagonist. But overall, we would be woefully undergeared, except for the fact that I've got a level 82 Persona equipped. Hmm? The smell is... It must be her! She's right behind this door! Open the door? Get on the floor? No. Okay, then I guess you don't want to walk like a dinosaur. No, I never want to walk like a dinosaur! Quit asking! Oh, this is fancy! Did you prepare a royal ball you, you just know. for us? Do you have big balls? I knew it! There's two of her! Yes, and one clearly is wearing a princess dress. Ooh, what's this? Three princes are here to see me! My, my! Are you the surprise guests who came in late? Fashionably late, as always. Oh, I wish I'd gotten a better look at you. What, you didn't get a good look at us when we were busy defeating that giant shadow you plopped right in front of us? My, it's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? Well then, baby, That's I thought you'd never ask. Far away where no one knows me. If you're my prince, you'd take me there, won't you? Come on, pretty please? Only if you add sugar on top. Oh, is this scoring a hot stud? <sighs> it was a mistake to let Teddy know those Three words. Princes. Wait, does that include me too? Duh. I'm touching that one. The third one's gotta be me. I seriously doubt that. I'm with Yosuke. Chie. <laughs> yes, she's my prince. I, I, it wasn't me. Game did it. Game said it. Not me. Not me. Game said it. Don't be offended. I'm kidding. I'm being she silly. always leads the way. She is a strong prince. Oh my. she was. Oh, oh my. Retracted slightly. Was? When it comes down to it, she is just not good enough. She can't take me away from here. She can't save me. Yukiko. Stop. Yes, watch me feebly limp Split to my feet. Manager training? I'm sick of all these things chaining me down. I never asked to be born here. Everything's decided for me, from how I live to where I die. You are a slave. Want emancipation? Ah, that's actually I'm the so next game. To hell with it all. I'm so excited for that one. I would love to do a playthrough of that that's for this not channel. True. I'm sure you guys would love to see me play it too. I just want to go somewhere far away. Anywhere but here. Someone please take me away. I can't leave here on my own. You're I'm mocking useless. Stop. Please stop. Okay, normally I would be kind of like, what is this, a middle school bully? But these are actually some pretty concerning things, especially when you consider that she's saying all this uh, in front of her best friend who that she's been trying to, you know, be supportive of while being supported by. She's come to rely on her a lot, and... She's a, this person is actually talking shit on the person one person that she I have no pretty much I stay and no courage to leave. 
Courage can be found in the smallest of places. So I, sit on my I forget how that actually quote goes. Someday my prince will come. I don't care where we go. Anywhere's fine. As long as it's not here, I don't give a damn. What's wrong with Inaba? It's a nice Historical place. Historical tradition. Pride of the town. What a bunch of bullshit. Hey, don't you be talking shit on my happy place. My happy place is awesome. How my happy place is relaxing. It's got upbeat music that actually talks That's about really sad things if you actually listen to the lyrics. Isn't that right, me? I'm sorry, I wasn't no. paying attention. I was busy getting lost in the music. Stop! Don't say it! No! You're not me! What? You are standing how many feet away? Why don't you just walk over to the person you're trying to rescue and calmly explain things to them? Nope. Nope. Yeah, creepy luck. This feels wonderful. It's building more and more. If this keeps up, I'll... I'll... She's having a... Self denial gasm. <laughs> that laugh is actually very disturbing with that echo effect. And it's symbolic. <gasps> Yukiko, we have to stop it. That girl's in danger. Yeah, she might have her feathers come alight and... Oh, wait, you're talking about Yukiko, not Shadow Yukiko. But seriously, you're a giant bird on a chandelier with candles alight beneath you. How do you not become right, a flame? Yukiko, just hang in there. We'll save you. Yeah. We're gonna be badasses. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Put, your, put them up. Put them up, birdie. Put them up. Feel the wrath of my golf I club. Shadow, the true self. Now, my prince, why don't we dance and make merry together? <laughs> there are just too many oh my. Hang in there, Yukiko. I'm right here for you. There's another one. Oh, really? Then I'll make sure to give you plenty to deal with. That could also have an oh my. Any who's it, we gotta do a little bit of setting up for this part. First off, we need to, uh, this is why I've been saving SP on the protagonist, because these skills do not cost hit points, they've caught us a set amount of SP regardless of what level you are. So I've just been, uh, you know, well, let's go ahead and plop that on him. It's really no point to it. I just realized that was a wasted turn. I mean, stupid. Oh, never mind. I actually don't have to waste a SP on Heat Razor. I've got uh, these guys to buff me up. Okay. Ow! Oh, okay, I might be a little bit underleveled for this, but anyways, we're power charged. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use this single target spell, and I'm gonna laugh if this just instantly pops her. Anyways, Brave Blade! Yoshitsune! level 13 and that just happened that just happened okay then um so uh yeah Yoshitsune strongest there is you felt a surge of energy after the recent battle levels up yeah who cares why would we ever want anything other than Yoshitsune I don't care that we can make level 14 persona Anywho's, it's more levels up, and I should be holding the triangle button to go through this a lot faster. Ooh, Mabufu, that's actually going to be useful. But yeah, that was... I actually feel a little bit bad, Ed, because there is some dialogues at, like, the 25, 50, and 75% health markers for most of the major bosses, but that just annihilated her. I am playing on Expert, and that just straight up took her out. Oh my god. Uh, but then again, she just she took most of Chie's hit points out relatively fast, so that tells me I need to upgrade my equipment, and I need to do a little bit of level grinding, because Yoshitsune, while he is powerful, will not save me from the later dungeons. Anyways, moving on! Yukiko! 
Yukiko, are you hurt? Just her pride. And you know, her head from smacking into that goddamn marble pillar. No, I'm not. Having a giant ass like that. See, this kimono is slimming. Slimming, You're I tell you. You're not the only one like that, Yukiko-san. Why do I keep making Everyone giant big butt they jokes? Can't show to other I don't even like big or butt don't jokes. Want to admit to themselves. They're not funny. Yukiko, I'm I'm sorry. What you... uh, I was so self-centered that I I never understood what you were going through. I'm your friend, and I still. Oh, I am so sorry. Let's have a pity party. Jay. We're both invited. I was always jealous of you, Yukiko. I'm gonna rub my eyes even though my glasses are still you on. Everything that I didn't. That jealousy was like a wall, and, and I was so lonely. I wanted you to need me, but it was me who needed you. I can't do anything right on my own. I've caused so much trouble for Yosuke and the others. I'm not gonna lie, you you did. I mean, that first you, boss. You weren't by my side. I, I, I wouldn't know what to do. So, Chie is, like, big powerhouse, but she has no aiming of her own. She needs Yukiko to take the, uh, the controls and actually point her in a direction, and oh my god, I am making things that could be oh my without even trying with these two. I am s apologizing, ladies and gentlemen. I, this is... We might as well I rename the series uh, Shinkron is a total uh, douchebag, and I am sorry, I just skipped past all that dialogue. I want to run away. I want someone to save me. You're right. Those feelings are part of me, too. I understand now. You're me. There are, we do want to... We all want to escape from things that we feel like we're stuck in at times. It's part of being human. So what I love about the party members in this game is that they really work on, like, each one of them has a flaw that is central to, like, the whole design of them, their interactions with everyone, and, and they have personal stories overcoming those flaws, and by the way, that was actually a pretty pretty design. Anyways, Yukiko has faced her other self. She has obtained the facade used to overcome life hardships. The persona Konohana Sakia. See, I can actually pronounce things, except I probably messed up the Sakia part. I'm not sure. AKA bird Yukiko. soccer pedal common rider chick. By the way, I love common rider. Have okay. I talked about how much I love common rider on the show? I feel like I have. Sorry, I am totally interrupting this very intense moment. Yeah, I should say so. You've been wearing that kimono for how many days straight? Yep. <laughs> of course. Big damn heroes coming to the rescue. Thank you. You're welcome. No, don't even mention it. I am just so glad you're safe. I'm so sorry, Yukiko. I'm so sorry, Chie. <laughs> I gotta stop making those jokes. So. Who threw you in here? Teddy, too soon. Huh? Who are you? Rather, what are you? Mascot character. I'm Teddy, so who threw you in? Ah, oh, Teddy. Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. I don't know. I There's think a proper time and place. Someone called my name, but my memory's a blur. I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry, um, Teddy? Oh, that's right. Yukiko is the only one who was of these people who wasn't in the TV before. No new clues. Oh. Not necessarily. Now we know for sure that someone threw Yukiko-san in here. There was a doubt? Hmm. Then it really isn't you guys. Asshole. Of course not. You still suspected us? No, 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 I, absolutely not. Liar. You little, you're one lying sack of honey. <laughs> Yosuke makes uh, me laugh. Anyways, let's hurry back home. Yukiko looks exhausted. 
No, I want to explore the dungeon Thanks more. again, Teddy. I'm drinking dungeon. We've had enough drinking. Now bring on the dungeon. Anywho's it's so that's the basic story. Wait, if you beat here? a well not basic story. Basic progression. Um you discover someone on the midnight channel, you figure out how to get to their dungeon, you go through their dungeon, you beat their boss, thus you go overcome the gimmicks, you beat their real boss, and then you are automatically booted out. And you have as many days to do this until uh, it gets really rainy and the fog rolls in. And as a note, when it rains, special enemies will appear in the dungeons, and you can get special uh, crafting material to sell to uh, the old man that I made sound like Mr. T for whatever reason, and those items can be particularly powerful. However, they are also much more difficult to defeat. Typically, they have some gimmick to defeating them even, like using a specific Maybe. element, or like everything here. but uh, something will not work on them. Well, yeah, but... Oh, lonely sorry, Teddy. Teddy. I promise to come again. So be a good boy and wait here until then. Oh. That was a noise. My, it's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? Wait a minute, what would they even do? Come on, pretty please. What would they do? Ah, I mean, giving me the creeps. Teddy's an empty bear life. suit. Ah, oh, Yosuke, Yosuke, Yosuke. Do you remember anything? I'm sorry, but I don't remember anything. Damn. <sighs> well, no worries. You're safe, and that's more than enough. Maybe for you. I was hoping for a little bit of actual, you know, progress. But there's no mistake that Yukiko-san was, um... Sexy in a kimono? Yes. Attacked the same way as the last two victims. Oh, right. And I think the one we saw Serial on the Midnight Channel right. wasn't the real Yukiko-san, but her shadow. You think, Yosuke? You think what with the lacy unmentionables from top Maybe to the bottom? Maybe the things Yukiko-san was suppressing in this world took form in the TV. Hmm. I, you know, Teddy was saying something like that. Yes, like three times. <sighs> it's no use. I'm just going round and round in circles. I mean, I get that you have to remind us of these things in case, you know, I didn't clear the dungeon in one day and actually, you know, took some time getting through that, because let's face it, this is a Shin Megami Tensei game, and on an original playthrough it does take forever getting through the dungeons. <gasps> but come on, man. What kind of person could be doing this? A serial killer. You know, someone messed up. Okay, let's give it some thought. You should take some time to consider the situation. Wait, can't we talk more about this some other time? No, I want to make progress. I wasted a whole bunch of time just being you silent really and letting you guys rest. talk. I want to talk this time. Fine then. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yukiko-san must be exhausted. Don't go making out off screen. I made too many jokes about that. If that turned out to actually happen, I'd feel really ashamed of myself. We'll talk about all this some more once she gets her strength back. Oh, what am I saying? I'm ashamed of myself anyways. ANYWAYS! You were able to rescue Yukiko safely, and badassly, might I add. But this case's mysteries have deepened even further. For now, you should wait for Yukiko to recover. I need to take more drinks. My throat is getting a little rough from doing that voice. Ah. He's home! Yay! Hmm? Oh. Um, hello. You brought the sack of fail with you. Okay. Hi there. Yeah, we hi. We work at the same time, so I'm giving him a ride back to his place. I thought we might as well swing by. Why would you bring him into your home? Nice to meet you. I'm Adachi, the guy who's been your dad's slave since spring. Pretty sure there's a hint eye of that. I haven't read it, but I'm pretty sure it exists. I can because knowing the internet, harder, it's a freaky, you know. freaky place. Now I'm regretting I said that. One, sir. <laughs> uh. yeah. 
Oh, I almost forgot. You're friends with Yukiko Amagi, right? Oh, well, uh... safe and sound. Tell all your friends at school. To be fair, she was only missing for like two days thanks to this. Anyways, uh... We all know already. Huh? Really? Yeah. So... <laughs> Is this yesterday's news? No, it's today's news. You're just, uh... But, this doesn't mean the case is closed, though. I mean, it would be yesterday's news if the game would friggin' let me. We were just questioning Miss Amagi. But she says she doesn't remember anything that happened while she was missing. And we can't figure out her whereabouts during the missing period, either. It's like she really disappeared. Why are you telling it's me this? It's pretty fishy, if you ask me. Like there's something else going on. Ah. <sighs> Yes, violence in front of your seven-year-old child. That is a good idea. Cursing in front of your seven-year-old child. That is an even better idea. Sorry. Get him out of here. He's failing up the place. Ignore him. He's just spouting some wild fantasy. Hmm. Yukiko isn't involved. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Dojima. Anyway, don't mind him. He can be a real pain sometimes. Then why did you bring him here? He's stinking up the joint. Oh, right. Uh, food. You're That's right. My stomach's growling too. Mine too, actually. I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna get some food <laughs> so after I get done with this recording. Sir. Shut up and sit down. And wash those hands first. I don't want to get your fail all over my good table. I should do the same. I punched you. I might have fail on my hand. Dinner promises to be lively for once. And very awkward. There's fail at the table. It's stinking up the joint. Anyways. Doo -doo -doo -doo, huh? Hello? Hello? I realize this is sudden, but... How are you calling me from inside my own subconscious? I'm Margaret. We met at the Velvet Room the other day. Yes, I know, baby. Hello. But again, how are you calling me from inside my own mind? I forgot to warn you about. So I thought it best to contact you immediately. Yeah, immediately. After I've already rescued the person I was rescuing. The bonds created through social links are another important means of strengthening the powers of your persona. Though well, that's you may good be to know. For time, devoting yourself to battles will not quench your heart's yearnings. Oh, baby, trust me, I know all about heart's yearnings. Please keep talking to me, I'm so lonely. Do not hasten heedlessly through your days. And remember the importance of moving at a sustainable pace. A lot of the things they say make me Please think that they that. were intended to add a uh, exhaustion mechanic like in Persona 3 into Persona 4, which I'm very glad that they didn't because that was annoying as fuck. I turned into a yawn. You took it Margaret's advice to heart. You should think carefully about how you spend your days. Dot dot dot. Anyways, let's go on to happy school time. Yay! You overhear students talking. Because eavesdropping, that's totally not creepy. The sports clubs are ex starting to accept applicants today. Which one should I join? Weren't you asking the same thing last year and the year before that? Was I? Well, whatever. I shouldn't join a sports team. I need to focus on the interest exams this year. I need to choose which shrine to wish for good for luck at with my mother so I can pass the exams. Strange enough, that apparently is an actual thing in this game. You can wish for good luck in your studies at shrines and they'll increase your knowledge. It's very freaky. I don't want to go to the shrine near the shopping district because it's all shady and creepy, you know? Not only that, but I heard a rumor that there's a something living at that shrine. I wonder if it's true. Running boy! Take a drink. Mm. Classes have ended for today. You are waiting for Yukiko to recover. You recall being told that you can join a sports club. Maybe you can find out how to join at the faculty office. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and save because we beat a boss and that was a whole bunch of cutscene.
Saving, saving, saving. Come on, come on. It takes too long. Too long, my time is valuable, you know. Uh, can you give me a side quest yet? Damn. Okay. Um, let's go... First floor, I think, is where the faculty office is. Maybe I can skip going to the faculty office and just go ahead and join the club. Oh, hey, let's go to the bathroom. This is the men's bathroom. Enter! Use the time to reflect. You wonder what kind of food is in the fridge back home. Anyways, you can sometimes get random items from going to the restroom, so every so often go ahead and, you know, just let it go. Relieve yourself. Yep, tinkle. You can go to the gym or the field from here. It seems the clubs are practicing. Do you want to join the basketball or the soccer club? You are suddenly struck by a vivid memory. The words are... No one cares. Will you join the basketball or the soccer club? Um, in my experience, the basketball club actually has a more interesting plot. I mean, we get to hang out with both of them, so let's go ahead and do basketball, though. Gonna join the basketball club. All right, guys, listen up. You have a new teammate. You all know Drinking Dungeon, right? I hope all of you know Drinking Dungeon. I mean, you're watching my channel. He's from the city, so I'm sure he's got some moves he's just waiting to show off. I am channeling an ancient samurai in my head. Anyway, I'd say this season is in the bag. I'm even thinking about making him captain. Sounds good to me. Voting was a big pain anyway. Here, why don't you say something to the team? Hi, nice to meet you. I'm your new captain. Nice to meet you. I don't want to be a total dickbag to them. Just go easy on us, okay? They don't seem very enthusiastic. Well, you guys can take it from here. I gotta go check on the soccer team. Drinking, why don't you just watch for today, all right? I'm taking off now. Okay, I'll just sit here and drink. The team practiced a little and left. Hey! Hey! What'd you think of your first day oh, here? Yeah. I'm Koichijo. Second year, same as you. Nice to meet you. Good to see someone else take an interest in the team. You know, because everyone else is a dickbag and doesn't care. <sighs> I'm beat. Ko, aren't you done yet? Oh. Is this the new guy? <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? He's the transfer student. Hmm, that's cool. Daisuke Nagase, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Soccer team, second year. Ko and I go way back. Regardless of the fact that we don't play the same sport and we are wearing entirely different outfits and what the heck, our friendship is basically founded on that sentence alone. Yeah, too far back. I'm getting sick of seeing your face. You can tell that they're best buddies because they insult one another. Heh, <laughs> did everyone take off like early like usual? Yep. I suggested we all work on rebounding, but they were like, that's too tiring. So all we did was take a few shots. Shot, 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 shot. We've got a lot of members who don't show up to practice, but basketball's fun. You've played before, right? Used to play all the li uh, li Nope, never. Let's be honest, I've actually never really played. <laughs> no problem, I'll work you to the bone. Oh my? You became friends with Ko Ichigo, oh, Ichijo, bleh. Ichigo is from Bleach of the basketball team and Daisuke Nagase of the soccer team. You feel a faint bond forming between the three of you. Oh my? No! Ah, voices in my head, sparklies before my eyes. Uh, thou art I, I am thou, thou hast established a new bond. It brings you closer to the truth. Thou shall be blessed with the strength arcana. Glowy. I love that it always heads directly to my head. Anyways, you have established the fellow athlete's social link of the strength arcana. Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, you do know the practice schedule. We meet on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, but don't bother actually showing up all the time. 
It's a simple sport, but if you do it right, I'm sure you'll toughen up. Oh, and there's no practice on rainy days either, because the other clubs take over the gym. And shut up, timer. <sighs> Sometimes it sucks being such a small team. And of course, we don't practice the week before exams. Are you stuck polishing the balls again? Oh my. Yeah, well, they go to their parties. I get to stay here and play with balls. I love them balls. I am suddenly regretting joining this team. Man, I want to go party too. With them balls. I just realized I've been... There's a lot of ball talking in this episode. I'll help you. Let's get this done and get out of here. They're going to polish each other's balls. Help out or be an ass and <laughs> I love that that's an option! You do that? You're a real pal, man. I think I'm tearing up. Ko is exuberant. You decide to go home after helping. You know, not being an ass and leaving. Why is that even an option? I love that that is an option. It even calls you out on the fact that you would be an ass and leave. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and save and uh, finish up the episode. I'm gonna get something to eat, and I will see you all next time. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below me, and uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye. See you later.